Here's the uh, rainwater collection. Comes down the gutter, straight, no bins. Hits the screen. The debris piles up. I can see debris down from below. I know it's time to clean up and come up and grab it and toss it. And the screen pull out if I want. Collects in this box and second filter there. Screen just keep the bugs out really, but it keeps crap out. Goes down that pipe, down this pipe, and then at the first couple gallons, collect in this tube here. It's got a cap on the end. And that's just to let it wash off the initial layer of dirt if it hasn't rained in a while. But after that fills up, water continues down line and then goes down here and into this tank. And fills up that tank all the way up until it reaches the top. And once it reaches the top level, it's going to continue down that pipe. So it gets to there, drop down, and same thing, fill up that full tank. Once that whole tank fills up, it's going to go across water level, you know, come up to here, and that water will have to go this way, come down there, all the way straight down, and then it'll fill that tank up. Once that tank's full, the water has no choice but to go that way, go down, fill up that tank, and then all the tanks are full, and when that happens, it goes in the overflow, which will be this pipe and into a barrel and then there will be overflow from the barrel out onto the driveway and into the bamboo and then to get water out of it water for the upper gardens we can use the top level top tanks and water for the lower gardens we can use that valve there but we'll also i pump water into this tank which is about 600 gallons now you have to knock the Here's the volume, and that's right now just directly hooked up to a hose. It goes down to soaker hoses that way in the lower beds. And the reason that I went all Rube Goldberg on this and channeled my water collecting mad scientist is because more head is better, which just means the higher you can collect water, the better. The better your pressure is going to be at the end of use or at use and so that's why I made a little bit more elaborate and to fill up an entire tank at once before it goes on to the second third and fourth tank well that is the rainwater collection system and uh maybe this is more than we need to know but this ideally would be a one-way check valve but they didn't have one that I liked so I just have a valve so I shut it off when I'm collecting and if I've used up that tank and there's water in that tank, then I can open that valve. And there's valves at every tank down at the bottom. Bung. And same with that bottom lever. I'll keep it shut generally when I'm collecting water. But when I use it, I can open it. And that's the deal. I'm gonna, that's one inch line that'll come out. The black plastic flexible. I don't know if you can see it over there. I'll run that down to the gardens or over to the gardens and then tying the regular hose or soaker hose from there. The joys of collecting rainwater. <laughs>